Right, Rich, here we are. All right, welcome to Scrap King Diaries. Today, we've been lucky enough to be invited on David from Levolutions Podcast, and we are excited to talk about all things business, growth, entrepreneurship, and, well. Well, we are over the moon to be here. Could be at work now, but now we're here, talking to someone about stuff. Yes, so we're looking, looking forward to getting uh, some interesting questions put to us and see what we come up with. Can't wait. You love talking to cameras, don't you? You love talking to different people you don't know and cameras. Come on, I'll get you back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and see what it's about. Hi. Hello, mate. You're right. Hi, Rich. Good. Good to see you. Good morning, mate. This is the uh, Tyrone YouTube channel that we're going to film in the background. Does that mean I'm famous now? Uh, uh, I don't know yet. We're still, wor we're still working on the, uh, on the popular side of the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee's in, ready? Have you seen those testing videos? Who's going to do the most amount of talking sit there, otherwise it's weird. Okay. Well, He's going to be me in it, let's be honest. Welcome to episode five of Rags to Riches podcast. Today we've got some very, very special guests. I know I say that every time, but this is truly special. These are local lads. You probably heard of the Tyronis, if you're from the Midlands anyway. Uh, pretty much everything that you can throw away, these guys turn into gold, literally. We've got Harry and Rich. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Nice Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Right, we'll just get straight into it. So for people who don't know you, Tell us a little bit about where you are today, and then we're going to go right the way back. Do you want to start? Well, um, we run a recycling firm in Birmingham. Yeah. Been there for nearly 70 years. We do a fantastic job. You've been job. there 70 years? The family has. The family owned, yeah. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we... Um, and Who's older? You can't know. <laughs> <laughs> You've had my day, thank you. Who's older? <laughs> You're older? No, I f***ing like, do look older. Is that a serious thing? No, you look older. Thank God. Only about two years. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's how it's good. get some Botox. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, 36, 24. 27? What the f***? <laughs> you know, just met a lot of people that way. Like, you, uh, met the animals a few times, people like that. And that car scene itself opened up social media to me. Um, and I enjoyed it. You married as well? Yes. Long time or? Uh, married for seven years. So did you do this, the whole stag thing as well? Yeah, but more yeah. low-key than Harry. Harry's more in your face. Oh, really? I was went to Eastern Europe for two days. Oh, really? Harry did Vegas for seven. I see pictures of you with helicopters. You guys, you smash it. Like, people, would you say people look up to you? No, I think people think I'm, both of us, we're very spoiled and live off dad's money. Is that the case? No. Yeah, not at all. I know it's not the case. So let's, let's rewind now, yeah? So, growing up, obviously, your family name carried a lot of weight around Birmingham. There's loads of us. There's, yeah, there's literally shit. That's like 17 you. cousins or something, aren't they? 61st cousins. 61st one of those, yeah. I, I get added on Facebook now by Tyronis I've never met and don't even know. Just like Where's me. the name Tyroni from? Bombardier, Italy. You guys are proper, like, mafioso. Lombardia. Lombardia, but I don't know. <laughs> um, we actually have just been to Milan uh, to look at a new machine, which I'm, I imagine we'll go into later. Um, but it's very local to the area that we came to, and the guys that were at the factory mm -hmm. uh, didn't know any Tronies, but they knew of a name. It is, I mean, it's probably like Smith here, do you know what I mean? It's not yeah. over, over, over in this, there, it's quite not, more But here a, it's going to be yeah, yeah. unusual. So, as a kid, did you ever think both of you were going to get into the family business, or did you think, nah, f that, I'm going to do my own thing? I was always destined for the scrapyard. Really? Yeah. I loved it ever since I was six, seven, every Saturday. Off school, I was down there. In, what the, in the lorries, like, six onwards. Oh, like primary school? Yeah. Only on weekends. No, I didn't miss You weren't clapping copper up at six, though, were you? Yeah. In the <laughs> you were just with Dad. I was <laughs> in the lorries. I enjoyed it. It was better than saying that. Rich is there loading cans into a bailer at six years old. I was old. driving at seven. No, no, I started at the bottom. Sweep that, move that. Yeah. I, and I, was, I started, that's why I know the trade inside out, because I started from the bottom. Of yeah. I know there's every nothing, aspect. There's nothing there. in the yard that yeah. I can't do. That, yeah, neither of us can't and do. And then you come along and you're like, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, so nine years between Rich and I. Uh, all at 19 after, like, straight on the keyboard, didn't you? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you mean keyboard? No, like, so when, when, when I left, when I left school, like Richard said earlier, we, we both started from like the bottom in the yard, mm -hmm. which is 100% true. Yeah. But, like, sweeping up, just cropping copper, like the, the, the jobs that, things we can't be in charge, and not know how to do those things. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work, it doesn't go like, I could jump in a crane today if I had to and move stuff and I could do all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I suppose, you know, as it's like your firm at the end of the day, you get, you invest more in, of your, you know, your effort into it and things like that. And then before mm -hmm. you know it, we're both running like, it's just the, our own little sections of it mm -hmm. in terms. Um, maybe it's the age thing now, but I'm a bit more computer literate than you are. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we just got into our own little sections involved in it, and we work really, really well together now. Yeah. Do you know when you started? <laughs> you know when you started like trying to be a um, like um, a socialite or an influencer? Or, uh, were you family or your parents or what? Just the hell laughed, are you doing? man. Just laughed. Thought you was a bit. Of yeah, a not, joke, yeah. Yeah. Just, just laughed. About Didn't take it, it seriously. Oh, I never. But it's a serious thing, though, isn't it? It's serious it's thing, though, yeah. That's why I've kept up with him. Yeah. All this because it's so great for advertising. Yeah. It's, it's, our company has gone so far. As yeah, yeah, man. It's met, due, due to the obviously, we haven't got like a it. we're not we haven't got a million subscribers and all this sort of stuff. And the videos get ten to fifty thousand views. It's not massive, but the business and the network inside of it that's come with the, the whole. I think I think I, my dad said to me the other day, "Give me a yellow pages bill," and he was like doing like four or five hundred a week on yellow pages. And I was like, "What the?" F I bet most people don't even know what yellow pages are. So it's just like a it's yeah. like a book that used to just, everyone used to have a copy in there. It would be like an advert for your company. Let's talk about the Queen. So the Queen tried to shut you down, didn't she? Technically. Yes, yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's happened with all that? Or what was... Because you guys were popping up, not you personally, but the Tyrone name was all over the news at one point. Yeah, it was a very testing few years, really. But yeah. it's still going on, isn't it? Still haven't been paid. Been in talks with them since 2011. Really? The first That's letters came through. And this is obviously HS2. For... Yeah. So the, what, what, did you, what did you get? A compulsory purchase order? Yeah, on um, free old land. Yeah. So it's ours, we've run a business on it for like 50, 60 years. Yeah. We want it, okay, can have it, but we need the money off the land to buy new premises, obviously. Yeah. So we went to Parliament twice, yeah. promised early advance payment. Really? Walked away happy, thinking fine, but no, they just ticked the box. No intention of paying you. We really really? Well. <laughs> In yeah. a bail? <laughs> Luckily, we got on really well. And yeah. It's our partnership which brings such value to the business. Yeah. We both offer different things. Yeah. But with both of us at the helm, yeah. We can go for it. Mm. Yeah. And I've seen it too many families fall out and it's no good. You've got to stick together, don't you? Right, guys, thanks for coming on. Um... See you a bit, lads. So there you have it. Podcast oh. done. Exciting yep. hour. We've been asked to do a... Uh, we've been asked to join the Levolution seminar, which will be happening early next year, of which we'll have a stand and hopefully do a bit of speaking on stage, which will be interesting. <laughs> and the whole thing's about networking and meeting people and meeting other like-minded people, which is the best thing about it, isn't it? So don't forget to join. Don't forget to join, and we'll see you back at the yard. So as you can see behind us, the massive queue meant we've had to ditch our car up the road, and now we're gonna have to go back into the yard after filming with Levolution and uh, sort the yard out. But I've just been told we've got a parcel in the office that we need to go and check out straight away. So come with us. <laughs> Nixon, where the f did you get my cap from? What? My oh, cracking cap. Yeah. What? Where the cracking? Tell the camera. I am the scrap king. Why are you, why are you the scrap king? Because I bring it. Yeah. Yeah? So if you're the scrap king, what am I? You wear the, the prince, you know? The scrap prince? How does that work? Yeah, I think yeah. you'd be the prince, you I'd be the king. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we are all the kings. All the assets, I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's your bottle. Please, no more fucking bottle. Give me one. Give me one. Hello, Steven. Right. Terence! Oh, how are you? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I like, I like your wing. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't move any or do anything now because the puppy wants to sleep. Happy? I've got to go. Oh, it's heartbroken. Sorry mate. Right, welcome to the Scrapping Diaries, season 19, episode 312. Today is a big day. Our stickers have arrived for the new Taurus, which we are email posting out to the factory. So when it gets delivered in next week, it will look amazing from the start. And this is what they are. They're from Sicko Graphics. I'll tag them on Instagram in the link. And look at the size of that. How sick is that? So you can imagine our big machine driving all the way across Europe next week, covered in HB20 model logos. I'm very excited. I have instructed the factory to video them placing them on and also to send me lots of pictures. So fingers crossed, these are the ones we're keeping because I've thought they're too good to send all of them out there. Bash, off. So I want to go and find somewhere to put that today. And then in this packet is the rest of them with my special postage. 
stamps. So, well, post office, we'll get these sent off, and then we'll show all the video, then we'll show all the viewers the new concrete in the yard. We've done a lot of concrete in this week in preparation. Um, the yard is immaculate. Uh, very full of scrap though, so we can't wait to get this new machine in and process everything. Follow me. Oh, yeah, you're all right, mate. Right, mate. Yeah, good man, yeah, sound, sound, sound. Nice to see you. Okay, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Good man. Oh, hey, look. Christmas time. Oh, Santa is here. I've still not lost any weight since my holiday, so I think we look quite similar at the minute. I've just seen all of the stickers that were posting out to Taurus. I cannot wait to see them all on the, on the machine, it's going to be amazing. Apparently there's a postal strike, right? And I said to the post office, I'm having that, mate. Scrapping these are stickers in Italy. They stopped the whole shop, moved all the customers out of the way, and they actually let me put it on the plane directly. Lovely. I know, well you know what I mean? All right. Fans, YouTubers, subscribes, that's what we call you now. Look at the fresh concrete that we've had installed in the yard, built, installed, whatever. This is the main tipping out. Where's he gone? Rich! I'm mid-sentence mid and he walks off. Steve, you're getting four or five down here. You get four or five down here. Huh? Uh, now my phone's going. Just keep him there, mate. Right, mate. Buy that trunk. Right. Thanks for thanks for joining us back. So this is the just done just done three grand on concrete, and then you look over and they're smashing it up. Heartbreaking. Let me have that for ten minutes. Sorry. Let me, let me have your phone. I need your full full attention span then. Richard's just really upset that the Liver King's been found out to be full of steroids. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> he's, on, he's on Instagram and he's looking at his page. No! No! 12 grand a month he does on, on, on drugs. Liver. Anyway, enough of that. We've had all this base done, which has improved the yard. This is the main tipping area. Obviously, it gets the most heavily damaged and worn out and whatever. So, new machine, replaced all the concrete. You know, this is what we've got to keep doing to keep the yard at the top of its game. Rich, calm down. Let me have a minute on the camera. Quite a lot of things to do. Right, the new machine is four times bigger than the last one, so we've had to extend the base. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let me let me start again. <laughs> sake. Oh, right, watch me concrete. The, the, right, they don't care. the new machine is four times bigger, so we've had to extend the base. I'll come, come with me. I'll show you. Come on, Ricky. Where are we going? It's like, like a hobbit hole of scrap in it. Woo! Nice. Are you filming? Right. And there you have it, the base has been extended. Oh, God, absolutely <laughs> riveting. <laughs> me. Is that long enough? I don't think it's long enough. <laughs> Who actually measured the machine and measured the base? <laughs> it just doesn't, does it? It's still sunny, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Should be three point seven meters, nine foot. That's nine funny. Well, I'm two inches taller than you, so if we lie, lie down. down. You go on, lie down. Measure it. Go on. Get your phone out. That little app you got. I've got one there. Yeah. I mean, I mean, don't don't like rush to get up or anything. Come on. Try and make it interesting for the viewers and whatnot. Right. So there you have it. Here's the extended base. Um, the machine will sit on it nice and comfortably, and that's it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying now, you've fing. I've you've got all the points, you? <laughs> well, you have, yeah, which is a shame, really, because it took you 12 now. seconds. 
like your sex life. <laughs> <laughs> just, by, just by the way, this extra, it's meant to be nine foot longer, which I think that's correct, but <coughs> it just doesn't look big enough for the machine. So, I mean, all we can do is hope now. It's measured correctly, so we're assuming it is, but there's no hope in it, Harry. It is real fit. Have you measured it? Yes. So don't worry. God help, God help us then. Um, it is made with special C50 concrete, which is the like the hardest stuff you can buy. Uh, it is. No, no, that's fact. That's a fact. Harry the concrete. Harry the <laughs> Harry the Harry the ground worker. Listen, it is hard as f like me. The concrete's gonna last forever because you've got to remember it's got a 225 ton machine sitting on it. Hopefully for the next five to six years. That you know is gonna be just ramming out of it all the time. Like my sex life. <laughs> um, if you were a hinge. If I was a hinge. That'd be you. you ah. Honestly, my, my neck's aching, <laughs> my back's aching, my shoulders are aching, right? All because of all because you could not do your part in our rugby game Saturday. <laughs> I had to cover him. Defence, attack. Line outs, scrums. Oh! Before we leave the, sort of the sheer area, we've got a, a special task for all of our viewers. We want you guys to name our new machine. The name that's got the most likes on this video, we will name it. Now, do you have anything to add, Rich, just before yes, you? Yes, um. Please think of a decent name, nothing rubbish. Like chopping with Chop Chop. Oh, <laughs> and then we're going to get a nice big sign Only over it. Any serious names considered? No, any names considered. Any single name is considered. So, are we done? You can call it Adolf. Fing hell, man. You could call it Stylinio. Are we done now? No. What loads to do? Fing hell. We could call it Ricky. Ricky the Chop. <laughs> Ricky's Chopper. <laughs> Ricky's Chopper! Please, someone, I'll like it myself. So that's what we want to do. Drop a comment down below and we will name our machine that and get our sign done, put stickers on it, etc. That's the yard done. Nearly time to lock up. We're going we're gonna to play rugby this afternoon. I'll show Harry what to do, I suppose. <laughs> He's been practicing catching all week, so he might get it. He might get a couple of catches. No, what's annoying is I had a really good game. He might get a couple of I catches. I had a really good game last week. And look, everyone on the team decided... There's 40 other players that'll carry you, so don't worry. I can't, I'm, no, I ain't doing it. So, my coach has called me out saying that I'm useless, which is an absolute lie. So who do you think's better out of Harry Rich. and Rich? 100% <laughs> <laughs> it's Rich. <laughs> like Harry, Harry can't catch. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Mrs. Tackles. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't run too great. Yep, 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 yep. But Rich doesn't miss a hit. So Ronnie's. He's brave. Harry's down a bit of a pussy. Down the camera. Harry's a pussy, yeah. Harry's a pussy. <laughs> down the camera. Rich, put his head anywhere, mate. Yeah. Toy Mosquito at half time. Nails it in the second half. Yeah. Harry takes weeks to just get him to catch a ball. <laughs> Yeah. So that's why, Rich, all day long, <laughs> done. Larry, what's your, what's your, what's your thing on this? <laughs> well, I'm thinking about the sponsorship. Uh, oh, Rich, uh, <laughs> Harry's great. So, which, which, which one? I, I reckon, I reckon, I don't know which one out of the two has got more money. We need to, we need to, <laughs> we need to find out who's got more money for the sponsorship. What we do, really. Yeah, I reckon it's Rich. Oh, f So Rich is the better the player then. Rich runs the scrap yard. Harry's Harry's just the face. Oh!
I said about three times. <laughs> what, what do you think about that? I think they're both wonderful. <laughs> That's Brilliant. a lovely comment. I am the glue that holds that team together. If you guys want to see us play rugby this weekend, drop a comment, hit the like and subscribe and we will take you along down to Erlington Rugby Club, Birmingham's oldest rugby club. And I'll show you Richard thing or two on the pitch. Hi, Darren. You have to say hello, say hello to the, it's YouTube. Oh, YouTube? Yeah, 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 YouTube's, yeah. yeah. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah. And then obviously what happens now? Than me. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, we'll put this video out and like a thousand, thousand people will watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then hopefully bring us more metal. Yeah, no worries. What do I say? Just say <laughs> like, share and subscribe. Like. No, like, 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 like. Like. Like, share and subscribe. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Right, yeah. Nice. Nice. Right. Cheers, Aaron. See you, mate. Um, so Erdington, 2.15 kickoff this Saturday. I'm going to go and beat Rich up. Been too fast for him, you know what I mean? Say hello to the YouTube. Oh, I can put my own name up for me. You know what it is? Yeah, yeah. You're on YouTube? Yeah. I've got, an, I've, got, I've got an OnlyFans as well. It's only four quid, you can subscribe, right? And you get to see loads of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, I'll the cab. <laughs>